Okay, so we're looking today at uh, a takedown that starts with an arm drag to get sort of around to his back, but I can't get completely to his back to uh, bear hug it. So as I pass this arm down and through and I step in, I'm able to get just close enough to reach around his back and grab his lap, but he squares up with me like this. So I, this is where I end up for the moment. Because he knows, he knows that I'm circling around behind him here. I've got a good hold on this arm though for the moment, pinching it to my body. You gotta keep it tight. And his head may be below mine, that's fine. But I've got his lat, and he, again, he doesn't want to be, me to be close. Let's say that his left foot is close to me. He doesn't want this. This is even worse for him. So he squares up with me, and this is what creates this opening for the sacrifice elevator. I'm gonna step in, and then I'm gonna kick back and kick him over this way. Notice my leg is pushing off the mat as I kick over my head. Then I kick this under me as I turn my hips and come up. Retaining this arm the whole time so that he doesn't just roll away. Okay, so he keeps him here. So then I can now start to bring his shoulder down and cover him and start to work from here. Since this arm is under my arm, he can't turn to his left. So in desperation, he might try to turn. I'm sorry, he can't turn to his right. So he might try to turn to his left. And this is where I start to move. I start looking for his right arm. So even though the arm drag was trapping his left arm under my arm, I'm not using that for the finish. I'm using that to force him to turn the other way and avail his right arm. Because once that shoulder comes up, I can do a kimura, I can do a cross arm lock, or I can turn and wrap the arm and get his back. So we're here again. <clears throat> so I drag this arm and step in to get this lat. And he turns into me. So here we are. Then I sit back and I kick up. All right, elevating him. And then I come under, catch him here. He can't turn away. So he'll, I'll bring him down to his, to his back by putting weight on that left shoulder. And now as he tries to turn to his left, I'm coming around and circling this arm. My head and shoulder come forward, his hand pops out and I grab it. Either for the Kimura or I'll pop up and get the arm lock. Or once again, I came down like this and then I can force him, I can walk around and force him to turn. And then I can wrap this arm, step over a posted mount where I can turn and get his back and choke him. So another nice little benefit, little bonus about that takedown is the way you land and the control you have over his one arm, the arm that you did the arm dragon on, which means you can then force him to turn, give up his other arm, or can more across arm lock, or turn further and get his back.